It's like, everyone's like, new year, new me. I'm yeah. always like, nah, listen, new year, it's all good. I'm going to try to be better, but... And then January is like the trial month. And then you're like, okay, I'm really starting on February. <laughs> and then February goes by and it's just shit. And you're like, okay, February was trial as well. I'm going to try it back next year. <laughs> so let's, let's try for March. Let's try for Check March. It's so true. Everyone always says, January, I'm going to do this bit. And then it just, it's like a weekend. And then it's like, no, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so true. It's, it is so true. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm gonna be I'm a better person. That's what everyone always says. Like, I'm Have glad I'm here. I'm yeah. excited because I'm totally starting a new career. The first week I'm not gonna do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't even done. You're already shitty. Yeah, you're like, fuck this. Yeah. Your life is just taking a turn. January first. I just know that I'm always shitty. January third, you're already like, fuck it. You're already like, fuck that. Yeah. 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 Ye
Like he knows I'm mentally strong, so he will be like, "You let him." I thought you were gonna say he knows I'm mentally unstable. (laughs) Oh, he knows that too. (laughs) They know both sides. But Bruce would be like, "I told you not to do that, and you did it anyway, and that's what I was afraid of." I know I will get that from him. Yeah, but. But that's such a. He is 62, and I'm sure he wouldn't find some wonderful other wife like me. So I'm sure he'll take me back (laughs) with all my bad behavior. I hope my parents take me back. Hi, mom and dad. (laughs) He will be like, princess, I told you not to do that. I know, but you know me, I'd say to him. Because we watched about, well, he wasn't there for all of them. I had only watched 19 episodes of Kevin's season and before I came. Like, that was the season I just picked up the ones the, to oh, watch mm-hmm. yeah. to, like, try to, you know, remember yeah, things. Yeah, pick up with... And just to see, like, I thought this season would be similar to one and three, not, like, two and four. Um, just guessing in my mind. And so then he would see things and say, okay, well, how are you going to be in that scenario? And I would look at him and he'd go, exactly, that's what I'm afraid of. Because <laughs> I wouldn't even have to say anything. I'd just give him one of these looks like, you, you know. know me. You've <laughs> you know lived with me for do. 24 years. You know how I am. It's like, that's what I'm afraid of. And then, like, leading, like, not knowing, but, you know, really not knowing till you, you leave. Yeah, exactly. If you're on, then it's like you do, I didn't have time to talk to him. Like, to really, so mm. we had had a few preemptive talks of things like, you need to be aware, to don't do this when you're ready. And I've just still done them all. <laughs> so basically, you don't listen. <laughs> well, I do, and I take, I heed it, and that's why I felt like, a, you know, I was crying, and I'm like, oh, I know I'm disappointing him. <laughs> no, but he can understand but that it's different like, well, when you're why here. why did you keep doing it? But it's so hard. Well, because he knows me. It's Mm. like he always says, you're brutally honest. You don't need to say everything. But I Mm. feel like I'm going to explode if I don't tell people the truth. Mm. Literally, that's that guilt recovering Catholic because they guilt you to death that you have to repent when you think these bad thoughts or you're just going to go to hell. So it's like... That's like the nephew guy in the... You say it out loud and then it's like, what? what did you really just say that to my face? And it's like, I'm sorry I did because I'm going to... You know, I'm going to hell if I know it's like recovering Catholic attitude. Like, honestly, they brainwash you. It's like Patty Hearst. I've been brainwashed that I have to do it. And Bruce is like, no, you don't. You need to keep your mouth shut. You're not going to explode. They're not going to know. Don't do it. But I do it. I do it in my everyday life. I've always done it. They call me Mrs. Smith. It's like the kid in the back of the class. Hello, Mrs. Smith. This guy was doing this. That's oh, me. Oh, you were like that. Oh, oh that's Karen. you? That's, no, oh, Karen, you got to go. Oh, got, that is me. You got to go. Oh, that is oh, me. Oh, no, Karen. <laughs> but I do it to myself more than anybody. Oh, okay. So you are telling that you snitched. <laughs> I could be a snitch. <laughs> oh, Karen. <laughs> I could very no. well be a snitch. Oh, Karen. Oh, no, oh, I'm disappointed. But, but this has been <laughs> different. Where it's like that side of it. But it's just my feelings. It's like, no, I have to tell how I feel. Because I feel like I'm a bad person if I don't. Which I know I am. But (laughs) I just don't want to have to carry that guilt around. It's like, okay, i got to wash myself so I feel fine and I can function. Now, the other person I've just done it to feels like complete shit. And I'm sorry. (laughs) But at least I have a cleansed conscience. Karen. Oh, my my goodness. (laughs) And I'm willing to admit that. No, okay. That's good. Yeah. At least you admit it. I no. do. And part of being not crazy is being able to know how crazy you are. That's true. <laughs> well, that's, I like that one. Part of being not crazy is realizing how crazy you are. Yeah, a lot of people won't admit it because they think it shows weakness and vulnerability. But it's mm. like if you just throw it out there, people go, yeah, she knows how nuts she is. And it's fine. Mm-hmm. She's good with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not bad. Okay. So, yeah, I do that daily with Bruce, I think. I, um, he told me, I told you early on, that he said, if it's too bad, I won't watch. Mm. I, I know you too well, and I know, and I just don't want to watch it. So I don't know if he's really watching it. 
The kids are probably calling him and telling him, you know what mom did today? And he's like, oh God, I don't want to know. <laughs> I just want to see how they bleep you out. Karen speaking, bleep. Nothing. Yeah. I think it's just like edit skip because Karen cusses too much. Yeah. <laughs> we all, all only heard like two words of Karen. Sorry, there's madame. Two words everywhere. Sorry, <laughs> madame, you are unusable. <laughs> you and your potty mouth. <laughs> Karen is badass. Yeah. Uh, some bad eggs and like an omelet, Definitely I think. You're a badass thank woman. You. I don't think so, but thank you. Yeah. I'm bad something, but... <laughs> no, I love it, though. Me too. I love it. I something love is too much, but I yes. still like it. <laughs> yes. Could they have a confessional box set up inside the Big Brother house just for me? <laughs> Father, forgive me, for I have sinned. <laughs> I just do that in my own head anyway. <laughs> Every night. It's like, okay. yo, daddy-o. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my. Hey, if you're still there, <laughs> you haven't left me. Oh it's like God. people are like, you know, I found God again or Jesus, whatever. I go, you know what? I've what, what, never lost. <laughs> we talk a lot. It's like we're buds. Oh. Yep, it's like a cloud with me. Mm. It's like, nope, I don't got to go find him because I know where he's at. Mm -hmm. What you making? Just some eggs, I'm gonna throw the shit in there. Oh, please don't, don't throw shit in there, Kevin. It's probably not gonna taste very good. <gasps> and uh, just like a bagel or two, I think. You oh, never what? know what the Kevin what? Martin may you do. You gonna throw a bag in there? A bagel. Okay. A bagel full of bagel? shit. A bagel. I don't say bagel. Bagel. I say bagel. 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 Say bagel. 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 Because every time they say bagel, I think of Mr. Bags. Is it Bags? A who's bagel. The guy Mr. From, Bags. Uh, who's the guy from the? Oh, what's the series with the dragon and the? They live in like the hills of the mountains, and we just watched four of them recently, and they came out in like two years, and they had the gold with the dragon. And the hell is that? That movie. <laughs> That was so good with Dorval Dorf or whatever his name was. Lord of the Rings. Huh? Lord of the Rings? Yes. I love this. What was the last one? That's what you the were Hobbit? describing? That's what you were describing? The Hobbit? That was yes. the worst. Oh, The Hobbit. <laughs> no, it's the same. I can't isn't believe it? that's what you were It's the same series? author, but it's, it's yeah, it, it is. Okay, well, what's Mr. Baggs? Oh my isn't goodness. it Mr. Baggs? Mr. Baggins? Bilbo Mr. Baggins. Mr. Baggins. Bilbo Baggins. Bilbo, Bilbo oh. Baggins. I thought it was a design you made, like an animation or something. <laughs> okay, so Every Mr. time Fags. they say that, I think of Mr. Baggins. Bagel, Baggins. Bagel, Baggins. Bagel. Karen, that was a terrible description of The Hobbit. Can you, amen, amen. Hey, ding, ding, amen. ding, 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 <laughs> He's living in Little Dylan Dale. got it though, so maybe that's not bad. There was Somebody some, thanks. There was something in there that something. sparked it. You got it. How did you pull Lord of the Ring out of that description? You got it. The creepy ring with the little guy. <laughs> okay. And he found it in the cave. Thanks for your contribution, Kevin. Thank it's you. gonna be good. <laughs> As a Lord of the Rings fan, I can't. <laughs> I'm just like hurting. <laughs> the worst description. <laughs> the little guy in the little hill. <laughs> Would you want to slice up a couple more? With, with the, the dragons. dragons. Yeah. With the dragons. Hey, I'm 53. <laughs> I was born a half a century ago. Give me a break. I'm that mom that you think, yeah, mom, whatever, whatever. I'm her. Okay? Awesome, awesome. That was my description. No, give me, give me a break. I'm all right. Kid. My mom would be a little bit like that, I think. Okay, so. thank you. Yeah. This is a generational thing. That was our description. <laughs> it's like playing. Lord of is not a generational thing, though. It is a generational thing, Kevin. Have yeah. your mother describe it when she gets home. She probably doesn't even watch it. You're right. You're, you probably gave a better description than my mom would. Thank you, Kevin. My mom Critical calls. Kevin. Yeah, I'm giving you some. <laughs> throwing shade at me. Huh? CK, Critical Kevin. <laughs> what is Dre, Le Silence des Animaux written in English? Silence of Lame, lame Silence? I don't think it's the same name. What is it? Like, there's an horror movie called, I don't remember. The Silence title. of the Lambs? 
Yeah, is it, is like that a really a movie? movie? Yeah. Oh, okay. And my mom always mixed up Lord of the Ring and this one. What? <laughs> but in French, it looks like because in French. Oh, the words mm. of the title. Yeah. 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 Oh, I see. Oh, c'est vrai. Le, I thought le not the premise of the movie. Because in French, Lord of the Ring is Le Seigneur des Anneaux. Okay. And mm. this one is Le Silence des Agneaux. Oh, very close. Yeah. <laughs> so she always said, Oh, I'm going to watch Le Silence des Agneaux. And I'm like, What? She always mixed both. Okay. So, yeah. Well, see, that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just thought you meant like Hannibal Lecter and the Chianti <laughs> and the Farber Beans with the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it's like, no. no. She's really crazy. But I do, I mean, I have kids you guys' as age. So it's like, yeah, mom, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, mom. Mom talks in mom, her code. Mom talks in a different language than the rest of us. And I'm okay with that. Yes, Cindy. Yes. Yes. Let's Make your presence be known. <laughs> I'm glad you learned so some bagels. Style. How do we even but get there? Oh, that's right, because bagels. Because so bagels <laughs> so make you think of Mr. Baggins. Yes. Oh, that's. I was like, how do we get to Lord of the Rings? But that, that was the bagel. The Don't connection. you remember how you remind me of Jeffrey Dahmer? Yes. What? We got to that from that? the br breakfast burrito. I remind Kevin, how. You have to figure out Karen's mind. I remind Karen of a serial killer. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> Because he was eating this breakfast bagel, and I don't know where it started or how. That was too many days ago to go back to that. That was like day. that was a way ago, yeah. What? But why would he remind you of Jeffrey well, Dahmer? I can't remember, Kevin. Can you that's remember? A, it was the. That's breakfast I was eating a bagel. breakfast sandwich, and when so you we heard about Jeffrey Dahmer, you were getting a breakfast sandwich or something. We that were at the one. lake and something, and it was like 1992, <laughs> and like. Yeah. <laughs> I of wasn't. Course. I wasn't even alone. Karen, I love you. <laughs> well, you can't, You're gonna be my favorite character. Bruce has always says, if I could get into her brain, her mind for one day, what of a trip that Jeffrey would Dahmer, be. Oh my God. What's that? Of course, it's Jeffrey Dahmer. Why wouldn't it be? Totally. But he, he just... looked like the boy next door, and he was like putting people in acid buckets and then eating, frying them up in oh, the pan. Karen, oh, Karen, I have salami in my hand. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I forgot. Kevin gets like freaked out by this. Stuff. He was frying them up for real. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not supposed to talk about this. Kevin's cooking salami and breakfast. I'll he was frying later. them up. I'll tell you. Later. And he ate them. He had to taste a little bit of every person he killed. Oh. <gasps> I'm just saying. Sorry, Kevin. Yeah, so did he put like? Okay, Kevin does mushrooms. Let's get, get the and details. Like like 425 oven or like. <laughs> Let's, like, let's really, like let's, let's, pan like you're let's really your dissect omelet. this thing. It was like frying pan like you're going to make your omelet cap. And he mixed it with mushrooms and like bell peppers, right? Had to. Yeah. Well, you know, it's like slop. They had to disguise He had this gray paint. sweater that he wore all the time. <laughs> with gray sweatpants? Oh, no. <laughs> Pretty much he looked just like Kevin with like lighter hair. He was very innocent looking. I, I don't see on, Jeffrey Dahmer in Kevin. I at saw all. him on 60 Minutes and he was the nicest guy. Like, you <laughs> like him. Oh, my. And, like, you just heard about him and it was like you just couldn't believe that was true. Like, it was so hard to believe looking at him. It would be like you just wouldn't believe it was true. And he's eating people. <laughs> And like young boys would get away and the cops would laugh at him and not believe him so like people died because of that. Because oh, they wouldn't believe that he was doing that. What was the guy in Edmonton? His name is Mark. I forget his last name. Do you remember this guy? He went to the same radio program that I went to. I did a two year radio program. Tell me more. He was but he did it like seven or eight years before me. And he would put uh, audition posts online. So he would say like he's like, I need an actor for this role, come audition at this address. And they would come to his house, yes. and they would do it in, their sh in his shed backyard. He'd be like, all right, we're going to need to, for the scene, we're going to need to, like, put this chain on your hand. And then, and then he would, like, lock them up and kill them and torture them and, like, mm. as part of this play that he would put on by himself. And, and did he tape it? I believe he did. I don't, I don't know the details past that. But See, that, that, I know that's how he got people to his house is he put, yes. he's, like, There's auditions online. But when you get to the guy's place, don't you see that it's fake? No, I mean, because he just, like, it's easy to set it up. Like even and when you're stu struggling your actors, you're needing a job. Camera there, yeah. camera there. Like nowadays, oh, you can do a video with a phone. So mm. it's like I'm doing an amateur. But usually, video. you have a team, no? No, not necessarily. You could have just you can buy a kid on that A 
thing and just do like a green screen lights and stuff. No, it's very easy to set up a studio. Right? It was pretty have, creepy doing uh, the same program. Do you have a studio that set up? I do have a little bit of a studio. Yeah. It's not like it's it's different. It's it's a little bit different. But, but I mean, it's easy to do. Like you could make yeah. it look oh legit pretty easy. Very easily. Yeah. Totally. yeah. But if you go and you see that it's a, a, someone's address and then there's no one like, else but you and the guy, don't you like? No. Aren't you a little like? Be a weird movie. Yeah. yeah. Aren't movie. you like? It, it's gonna be weird. A movie no? with myself. You know what? Maybe here's the thing. We're the only species that feels the danger in our eyes. Like an animal feels it and they run, but we go straight into it. We get that gut instinct that the something is not right, and yet we go forward. And it's like if you really pay attention to that gut instinct, if it says this just doesn't feel right, go. Because 99% of the time that people get away, they say, I knew something wasn't right. Uh -huh. And they did it anyway. And it's like, why you got to be a bunch of followers? Like, go. Yeah, no. You got usually, like, they'll teach you in those uh, self-defense. Like, you got one opportunity to get away. Once yeah. they get you trapped, you're probably done. That's what my, in my instinct tells me to, go. that there's something, no, there's something wrong and I need to take care of it. Oh, so you're, because of you, you probably could, though. Because yeah. that's the thing. You go with your advantage or, like, what you yeah. think, what your capacity. Because like, you I don't, your there's size. No, there's no way in God's green earth someone's going to take me down and fucking. And I could see They'd have to club you. me or stab me with, like, a like a knockout drug or something yeah. like that. Like, they'd have, to, they'd have to work hard to get me. Yeah. You'd be the kind of guy that got away. Let's see, Missy. So how do I make an omelet? Oh, wow, natural. Thank you. You see your eyelashes. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, wow. Let like me see, let me see. Come worker. over close. She's a miracle worker. Oh, yes, we look beautiful. So if I put, like, three eggs in here, very, do I put it very in at the same time, too? Like you no, are. Well, you should, act, you should actually cook Aww. that first. I am a oh, miracle worker. If I can make her look like that. Put it to the side. <laughs> or... Yeah, cook, get that you cooked like down, I love and then it. put that yeah. to the side, like cook the egg, makeup thing on or put that like to the side, and then mix it with the egg. Like, what kind of egg are you trying to do? I think it's like an omelet. I've never made an omelet before. So yeah, then just you cook, cook that a little bit, and then crack the egg right into it. Like that's a lot. It is a lot. That's a lot. You have to put more than three eggs in. Beautiful. Did you eat any slop today? No. Karen, who's the guy? Wasn't so Kevin, it? Kevin, wait. Let's go finish the story about this okay. guy. So did he go um, to, did they convict him and on how many murders? I have no idea the details. Okay. All I know is that I went to the same program as him, and it was really creepy knowing that. So tell me about this program. Like, what was he doing? <laughs> Two-year radio and television program. Oh, okay. Three. <laughs> Two-year radio and television program. <laughs> Uh, and you just like, he was on the television side, I did the radio side, so I specialized in like, microphones and how the audio works and doing a radio program and commercials and all that. And this was at a school? This is in the North, uh, Amer North Al Northern Alberta Institute of Technology. Okay, so like, Calgary has SATE. Calgary has SATE, they have a radio program as well. Okay. Um, and yeah, he did the television side, so he did TV, but he must have graduated in like 05, 04. I graduated in like, thir so like eight years after him. Okay. But yeah, some of the teachers that taught me were telling us stories. They taught him, really? and like was they always said, like he was a weird kid. But maybe it's hindsight, you know. Like if I hung out with William, William is a totally normal person, like funny, charismatic. But then like, in ten years, if I find out you're a serial killer, I'd be like, oh, he was weird, you know. <laughs> but even though he wasn't, you know. So I, I bet yeah. it's like a mind thing. But yeah, he was. A, they did a documentary on him. It was like a CB, like a sixty minutes. Like, wow. yeah, it was very like. And, and he would film this play of him torturing the people and, and cutting. Oh my! Oh, oh, just to catch you up. So, <laughs> his name was his yeah. name was Mark. I don't remember his last name, okay. but he went to the same program oh, yeah. I did, and this yeah. was like eight years ago. Serial killer. What? He would put auditions right. online. He'd be like, "Come audition, male, 20, 25. Yeah. and then they would come to his house, and he would have this like play in the tool shed. And during the play, he would lock them up in chains and actually, like, you know, kill them and film it and, like, make this, yeah. So. It's really, really, really So, awful. at first, they thought they were still a part of the play. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. thought they were a part of the play.